Rusty's Long Journey Home. Rusty had been part of the Weaver family for eight years, ever since he was a pup. On the day the Weavers were moving, someone left the gate open and Rusty got out. By the time he returned, the Weavers in the moving van were gone. Rusty sat by his bowl waiting for him to come home. Saturday night turned into Sunday morning. Rusty realized they were gone for good. It was his fault for running off. He needed to find them. The next day, after a quick interrogation, he got the answers he wanted. Uh, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but they moved to Campbell Street in Sweetwater, Texas. Rusty made the mailman Google a map. Then he left Wichita and started out on his 600 mile adventure. He was chased by coyotes outside of Blackwell. Almost got run over near Lawton, but he had to get to Sweetwater. He needed to be with his family. The long trip gave Rusty time to think. I wasn't gone that long and I didn't even know we were moving. Plus, they never leave the gate open. And if they were planning on taking me, why didn't they pack my dog bowl? And why did the mailman say he wasn't supposed to tell me where they went? Things just weren't adding up. When Rusty arrived in Sweetwater, his worst fears were confirmed. Rusty, you found us. I, I mean, hooray, you found us. We look for you everywhere, buddy. What a crazy mix-up, right? <laughs> It was Carol's idea. She's mad because you shit on her Persian rug. I see you notice our new dog, Butch. Again, that was Carol's idea. Me and the kids had nothing to do with it. You know what a hard ass she is. It's a miracle. Rusty's home. No, Devin, stay back. Look, Dad, Rusty wants me to give him a piggyback ride. Okay, Rusty, you made your point. Devin, why don't you run inside and tell everybody Rusty's back? Rusty, I'm truly sorry about all this. From now on, I'll buy you expensive dog food. You can bone Butch as much as you want and continue to crap on Carol's rug. It'll be better than before. I promise. The local news covered Rusty's amazing journey and even mentioned the Weaver's new typewriter repair business. See, it all worked out for the best. Urgh.